You're a little welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so in these type of problems, notice they're telling us what this equation represents. So don't be overwhelmed by the equation they give you. They're telling you that you have t for months, and this is the value of the car after t months, so v is the value of the car, which statement is not correct. So when I look at this, to understand this problem, I might do this first. I might say, okay, I know it's starting off at 32,000, and then the car is losing value because we're multiplying it by a number less than 1, and we're doing it to the power of t over 12. And t is months, so I'm inferring that months divided by 12 will tell you the number of years. For example, let me rewrite this as v of t. and will make this a little bit easier for myself. I like to plug in some numbers. So my theory is that if t is the number of months, this exponent is going to give me the number of years. So I plug in 12 for t. That should be one year, right? 12 months is a year. Let's see what happens. We get 32,000 times 0 0.8 1 to the 12 divided by 12, and that's going to equal what? 32,000 times 0 0.18, 0 0.81 to the first, and that's one year, and that gets us 32,000 times 0 0.81. Let's see if this is making sense. 32,000 times 0 0.81, and I get 25,920. Okay, 25,920. All right, so the car lost about 20% of its value, right? Because 81%, this, that's what this is, is about 20% from 100%. So it lost, I'm actually sorry, about 19%. All right, let's look through these choices now to understand what's happening. And usually, I just, I just show you this because with these kind of problems, sometimes I do take time to plug numbers in and see what's happening. We want to find a statement that's not correct. Choice one, the car lost approximately 19% of its value each month. But it's not each month, is it? It's each year. If it was said each year, this would be correct, but it's not, so that's the answer. And the only way I recognize that is because I looked at what happens after a year. It does lose 19%, but it takes a year to do that. Um, if you want to find, if they ask you, let's just scroll down here, what would happen each month, you would just simplify this. So you'd say 32,000 times 0 0.81 to the 1 12th times t. This is the same thing, I just split apart t over 12, that's 1 12th of t, and then I can take the 12th root of 0.81 to see what would actually happen each month. I don't know what the 12th root of 0.81 is, let's see what that is. So 0.81, to find the 12th root, I just press power and then do the 1 12th, 1 divided by 12, that's the 12th root, and I get 0.983, so I'm gonna say 0.98. All right, so this is 0.98 to the power of t. What does this tell us? This tells us that, let's say you plug in 1 for t. That would, that would be 1 up here as an exponent, and that would tell you that you're losing about 2% per month, right? A little bit less than 2% because we rounded this. It's really 0.93. This is about 1.7%. And you're losing, you're losing that 12 times, and if you take... If you go back here, just to understand these connections. If you take this number, 0.983, right? That's what's happening each month. You're losing about 1.7%, right? So 1.7, 12 months in a row. Let's see what happens. You get pretty close to 19 right there, and you're getting above it because we're rounding this right here. So if you lose 1.7% per month for 12 months, it's like losing almost about 19 or 20 percent and I think this multiplication checks out if I'm doing something wrong there please let me know uh, usually I would just uh, if I wanted to understand how this ties to the full year this is per month I would raise it to the 12th power and see that's what happens per year that's the number we had before 0.81 there's a 5 here because of the way the calculator is rounding all right so that helps us understand why they gave us choice two, where the car maintained approximately 98 percent of its value each month um, so that's a true statement, right? It's about 98% of its value each month is being maintained. That's what this number is right here. Um, right, it's losing 2%, so it's maintaining 98%. Just like you could say it's maintaining 81% per year or losing 19%.
choice three, the value of the car when it's purchased was 32,000. If you plug in zero for T, you would see that that's true. If you plug in zero for T in either equation, let's just use the original, V of zero, that equals 32,000 times 0.81 to the zero divided by 12. Zero divided by 12 is just zero, so it's 32,000 times 0.81 to the zero. Now what's anything to the zero power? That's just one. And 32,000 times one is just 32,000. So that just reminds us that, yeah, that is the starting value. If you plug in zero, you'll always see that number in the front. An exponential function is the starting value of whatever you're dealing with. The value of the car one year after it was purchased was 25,920. We confirm that here. So other than identifying what's actually the answer here, it's important to do a little bit of work with the problem so you're actually able to analyze the other choices they're giving you and understand where are they getting all those numbers from. All right, I hope this helped.